Happening right now, the State Board of Education is considering a hotly debated topic that would impact what your kids learn in school. They're considering changing social studies classes to teach more about racism, but the state's lieutenant governor is blasting this idea. WFMI News 2's Ben Briscoe looks at both sides. Black Lives Matter! In response to last summer's Black Lives Matter demonstrations, some called for North Carolina to change its social studies curriculum to officially teach systemic racism, systemic discrimination, and gender identity. Revy Kern of Equality NC says it's necessary. Historically, institutions have erased histories of marginalized groups. But Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson disagrees. On his website, he says the proposed changes are political in nature, undermine our unity, and indoctrinate our students against our great country. They point to calling our, uh, our nation systemically racist, and I'm diametrically opposed to that. The head of the International Civil Rights Center and Museum, John Swain, says Robinson is wrong. Totally, totally wrong. Um, kids need to understand systemic racism. I think for far too long we've put our heads in the sand and ignored major issues. In fact, for years, the museums raised money to bring students from across our state on field trips to learn such lessons about racist systems, such as Jim Crow laws, redlining, and segregation. We want our students here in this state to be smart about these issues. We want them to lead for the 21st century. Now, Lieutenant Governor Robinson has asked his supporters to sign a petition on his website against the changes. So far, more than 27,000 people have signed it. The school board is expected to vote tomorrow.